what's up guys it's me Mike and today I'm going to do a video review on a website called groups or guru.ps I guess I don't know um, it's a beta form I, uh, on this website it says and it's pretty it's pretty cool if you want to do like um like uh, migration from Ning so everybody that's you know migrating from Ning that doesn't want to pay their membership fees uh, this is a pretty good place to go to. I went to other websites and it was a little difficult with the, um, you know, the designing and trying to get the uh, the layout prop properly set up and everything. But this seems to be pretty much, you know, straightforward. Um, that shows uh, the number of members that already signed up, and it kind of like when you go over to this link, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna put in the video description. Um, it's like a little welcome thing for um, Ning members, so it's a little brief uh, message, a little brief uh, summary of, you know, their welcoming um, Ning members over to their site, and it shows a lot of their uh, features. They have integrated Facebook, so Ning didn't really have too much of an integrated Facebook, uh, you know, thing you can use. You can sign in with Facebook and stuff like that. Um, they got some cool templates, which is really nice. Ning has some cool templates too. I can't lie, but um, they got some nice templates here too. Um, another thing that's cool about this is that if you, you can use your own domain name for free, and then you'll have to pay like five dollars or something. And now with their new plan, it's probably got to pay like uh, twenty dollars um, minimum uh, to use your own domain name. So if I click right here where it says details, it shows um, some quotes from people on the Ning Dictionary, Twitter, and uh, again from the Ning Dictionary. We got some frequently frequently asked questions, so uh, a lot of stuff you might want to look at. Um, they show you how to export uh, your Ning's uh, member, sh member data, so you can um, migrate them, uh, excuse me, ah, I'm stuttering today, ah. So you can export your member's data over to this site, it will be easy for you to switch over like that. Um, there's a little comparison chart right here from Groups and Ning, and it shows, you know, everything Groups offers and everything Ning offers. Uh, and as you can see, it's a whole bunch of stuff. If you go over to the link, I'm going to put in the video description. And it shows a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, comparison with Ning. Uh, we got some featured Ning groups over here. You can check them out. So straight off, you could, you could uh, see, you know, people's profile. It looks pretty clean everything looks you know really nice um, really customizable too so I already have mine up and I didn't do too much with it but I, as you can see this looks this is like that admin uh, area but if I go over to uh, let's see my account I think oh no not my account go home and uh, this is how it looks you can edit it if you want just click on the little edit button and you customize the title and uh, Let's see, you got some, uh, you can edit your photos, put some photos in here, detail view or simple view, uh, the title of the photo thing, uh, content limit, you can limit how many photos are in that, you know, the area to display. Um, you got the members, uh, the founder, which is me on the site, it shows me and it's going to show some uh, uh, details about when I created it, you can private message me. And just like Ning, if you wanted to allow somebody to become an admin uh, member, you can do that as well. And then their icon will appeal, appear right below mine. Um, we got the top contributors. So anybody that's really, uh, you know, active on your site, you can uh, put that here. Or it will automatically go there, I believe. Let me see. If you click on edit. Uh, okay. Yeah, I believe so. If the you know, top contributors would go there, which is cool because Ning... You know, you will have to manually create that. I'm sure um, this site would do that as well. All right, and you got the latest members, so the latest people that have joined. You got the share button right here. You can move this anywhere you want. And just like name, you can just go to, uh, I believe, join group or whatever like that. You get the embed button and put it somewhere. And, uh, and like I said, you can move these anywhere you want without going all the way to like like a name you go to manage and go to features and everything you can do everything right here so which is cool you can move everything around if you want which is really nice I like that um, we got the events right here and if you don't want them you can just X them out 
and you can delete it. It says, Do you are sure you want to remove the block? Press OK. And if you want to go and add it, you would go into your account settings and um, bring it back in if you want. And it's pretty cool. Everything is so straightforward in this. It's just like everything is really good. You got the news feed, which is cool. So it's like um, you get like Ning if you go over to your profile page except this is on the home page so you can put everything right there and it will automatically share to Twitter if you set up your account that way um, I'm gonna bring you over to where it says my account no not even um, up here at the admin options it should say pages look and looks and feel users and tools I'm gonna go over to looks and feel and this where you can add your own customized templates so um, pre-made templates for your your um, layout so they got a lot of templates here and it's, it's you know it's pretty nice I like them I got I got the one that's called dark neo which is pretty cool it's like a dark dark blue of black and stuff like that it's pretty cool and uh, over here on the left you got a whole bunch of options you got the Facebook application you got spread the word you got alerts which is cool that way you can uh, send alert messages to members that you know some you know, like announcements like that you got uh let me see newsletter i thought was cool um so that way you can send out um weekly newsletters to um to members to keep them you know engaged into your website so they can uh you know stay active and everything like that um let me see you got the import tool um you can use that to bring over your ning so s select the ning site and go browse and then you would browse somewhere on your documents or wherever your um svs data is at and then press open and then press submit and then everything should uh, load up properly uh, you got user management which is cool that way you can uh, select what you want to um, for the members you give them admin roles and everything like that which is cool uh, custom domains you can add your own custom domain in there so if it's like mikesdesigns.com or or you know whatever your dot com name is or dot net dot org whatever it is you can put that in there and uh, you know save changes uh, which is cool and you can do all that for free uh, let me see you got views what's views um, I haven't gotten into this feature yet but I'm sure you can do a whole bunch with that uh, let me see active rank uh, let me see this is cool this is uh, how you can um rate activity on your website so members can be ranked by uh, giving them more ranks towards uh, let's see if they do blog posts and stuff like that and you know people that's more active on the site get you know a better ranking you would think so it's pretty cool I like a lot of the features I'm gonna go step by step into um, select features that I want into different videos so let's say um, this is just like an overview but I just want to really do that um, you got profile questions just like in Ning so if people want to sign up and uh, you want them to answer certain questions profile questions um, you can do that as well um, let me see export data so just like on Ning as well you can export your members data into a file so keep it as backup um, it's gonna be an S S yeah CSV file you never get that right and you can keep that as backup so if anything ever happens to your site members it this site is in beta form so you know something might go wrong and you just want to make sure you have your um your members data on file um so yeah they got a whole bunch of stuff everything is pretty much set up for you when you sign up um you got the my profile we got members videos wiki uh photos invite events forms groups blogs and this little plus sign where you click on that and you can add just um, some more links to external pages and uh, different uh, tabs and everything which is cool and you got the online member stuff right here and you know another thing I noticed too just like on Ning you have the ads right here on the left well groups they have their advertisement right here but it's like a small little box it doesn't you know stick out as much as Ning so you know it's pretty cool it's pretty straightforward like I said I haven't gotten into much of the customizing features of it um but I'll do that in another video like I said and more um, tutorials in this as well and uh, it's me Mike and I'll catch you guys later please keep updated with my videos and uh, subscribe to me 
and also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Mike Cezans 155 and that link will be in the video description as well and I will still be on Ning I'm gonna try to uh, pay their you know, monthly services for a while to see how that works out and I'm just gonna have this site as backup and you know just to keep you guys updated and for those who did migrate from Ning to this site I'm just gonna you know help you guys out on this site as well alright so it's me and Mike peace